Let's talk St. Patty's Day, or Christmas for towny homophobes. One thing I've always admired about towny homophobes is how effortlessly they hold a beer can. You know in group pictures, the kind of guys who have their chin up when they're flipping off the camera? They have Boston tattoos all over their body, even though they live in Central Mass. Like how in God's name do they hold the beer so well? How do they do that? How are they doing it? It makes so much sense in their hands. If you want to see a wonder of the world, go to any sports bar. Like, touchdown, sport, beers, beers for baseball, field goal, field goal, good guys, hot chicks, good wings, always watching the sports. Where these guys are palming beer cans with the level of ease that can only come after Malcolm Gladwell's 10,000 hour rule. Confidence in the comfort. It's like a python holding a little piglet. You can't even see the can. Where is it? Where's the can? Uh, it's like a little field Tell mouse tucked away for is. winter's I can't nap. See it. A good townie is inexplicably large. Typically, they own landscaping companies with like really aggressive names. Elite mowers or big dick landscaping. Don't you fuck? Talking about that kind of ancient JV muscle that has long since atrophied. This is the kind of body you look at and you're like, he probably be okay in space without a spacesuit. Everything makes sense. That little natty ice can tucked away in his garage of a fist. To be that can. To be held so tightly but so tenderly. The kind of tenderness that defies the townie's very nature. I almost envy that beer can. To be held like that. Here I'm the next wrap around my shoulder and I, I had a feeling that I belong. Someone. What if a homophobe is born with tiny little like, hands? Like little Paul Simon hands that can barely make their way around the can. Can he still ride with the crew? That's the next Pixar movie right there. The story of one homophobe with the cards stacked against him on a journey to prove that he is just as backwards thinking and emotionally repressed as his crew, even if he has to use two hands to hold his beer. This St. Patty's Day, will one townie with tiny little centipede hands prove to CJ, BJ, EJ, CJ, FJ, Anthony, and Mike. And it's not the size of the hands on the homophobe, but the size of the homophobe in here. Another great feature about these townie groups is that sometimes there's like a female counterpart. One of those girls that looks like she might be lip gloss disguised as a person. The kind of girl who's about one Audrey Hepburn fever dream away from starting her own makeup tutorial YouTube page. Ever see one of those makeup tutorials where the girl just decimates her face for like 14 minutes and right when you think it's over she's like and voila only 21 more products to go. What? This is my L'Oreal 72 hour Jack Dawson grip foundation. You need a fire hose or a space shuttle launch to take it off, but it's really great if you want to roll around with your lovey and get a little bit puppy crazy. Now, I happen to have really big pores. As you can see, I have two really big pores here at the bottom of my nose. So Those I just to plug these up with whatever I have around the house. Also have a big pore right here. That's your mouth. <laughs> I cannot live without my strawberry kiwi lip liner. This is a Maybelline Demi Glaze. I am going to use my rosy cheek embalming solution. And you catch a glimpse of the warning labels, and it's like, Highly flammable! Do not use! Please! Tested on rhinos! Gave every single one of them sciatica! Do not ingest! It will lead to the conception of the son of Beazerbo! Oh, sweet and innocent and romantic. Now, this is a great first date look. Again, if I'm not feeling like going through all this, sometimes I'll just ship a Betty Boop poster to the restaurant, and I'll ask the wait staff to put it across from my date at the table. There's one thing I need in my life. It is my never-ending romantic love lip liner. Oh, I love the sound of that. Makes. Kind of sounds like when my girlfriends rip popcorn out of my mouth. They call me Popcorn Baby. I don't know why. I know why. I eat all the popcorn. It holds even like after the date. Like say you want to stick around Regal Cinema and just kind of hoover your mouth on the floor to pick up all the popcorn that everyone left behind. Just, I swear by this. What I love about this eyeshadow is that it says the only song I've ever heard is Pour Some Sugar On Me and I'm not sure where Seattle is. This is the Flirty Pour Clogger by John Deere. L'Oreal's I've Never Left My Hometown Lip Balm. Sure to really rub it. It, you put it in. Stop! I'm begging you! It's too many products! You're turning your face into a fajita! This is a great blush if you're serious about robbing a TGI Fridays. Now make sure to really rub right this about in there. Great about the to complete the look. The cheap laminator. Who is minimizing look her? Some deodorant on my face. Not. She just keeps putting products on. By the end you expect her to just be like... And there we have it. Oh, oh. oh my god! Is it a turn up? What happened here? Leave your favorite looks in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.